Okay guys, welcome back to Jack of All Trades. Today we're gonna show you how to uh, uh, turn off and on the water main. This is uh, what the valve looks like up in Ontario, Canada. It's got a special lock nut, it's painted blue. So if you have this type of uh, shut off valve on your property, I'm gonna show you how to get to it. You're gonna need to build a special tool as well to go down there. It's about two feet into the ground with a special lock nut. Okay, so now we're on the street. You're gonna to wanna to locate the painted blue spot on the curb. This will show you where the uh, valve's located. And you'll notice the stick is marked directly adjacent to it and right next to the stick is the valve. So if you try to find out where the valve is on your property, this is how you do it. Now there's no stick, but I put that in there in case it snowed because we're in November and I have to do some work underneath the house because my main shutoff valve is leaking. And the only way to get to uh, work on it is to shut off the the water outside the home on your property. So this is how you do it. And just so you know, uh, the uh, the town will charge you like 80 bucks to come out and do this. So I'll show you how to do it for free. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you need a pair of pliers like this. Just take it, you can turn it off and out comes the bolt. And then you're gonna stick a pipe down there and we're gonna show you the special key that you're gonna need to to actually shut it off. Okay. And it's gonna be, uh, you're gonna need at least two feet of pipe. This is gonna be, uh, I believe, half inch. Half inch pipe will fit down the hole. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn around here and you're gonna cut a slot right there. And you're gonna cut it about a centimeter and a half slot. You're gonna notice right here, half inch, and then the slot right there. Now I'm going to show you how to cut the slot. You can use a, a metal grinder and uh, to make that cut. What we're going to do is we're just going to take the grinding wheel and we're going to go into the slot like so and make our make our cut. Now I'm going to go back to the computer and I'm going to show you uh, when we zoomed in on this. Uh, it's hard to see because the hole's dark. So I'm going to show you a diagram of what the uh, inside of the valve looks like and the reason why we make this half cut on this pipe and there you go there's the other angle uh, showing you the cut it's going to be a quarter three quarters around the circle and you're going to make a cut and uh, the reason why is it's got to fit into the side of the uh, ball valve which is down in, in the hole and when that slots into the top of the uh, square piece You'll grab a hold of the valve and then you could turn it a quarter turn. It only takes a quarter turn to shut the water off and a quarter turn to turn it back on. So we'll show you a computer diagram and then we'll wrap this video up. There's the uh, tube that goes down and below the tube is the actual part that you're going to latch the pipe onto and it's going to fit in like so and you're going to give it a quarter turn. So I found that uh, you can make the cut right across the whole pipe if you want but I the way mine's is designed, looking inward like so, you'll see that the valve sticks out two thirds of the way in part where the circle is and then there's a gap. So you have to have a key cut to fit in to grab that right side of the valve to pull it, to turn it. Because you can't get at the other side of the valve. So this is the type of key I cut as shown in the previous uh, video. And if you insert that down into the hole, a half inch pipe you should be able to make that quarter turn to shut your water off so and i'm sure anybody who's up in uh, canada here especially ontario uh might find this video interesting because like i said i've had my water shut off before and it cost uh 80 bucks to do it and i had to do some work under the on the house and now i have to get it shut off again and i'm just gonna shut it off myself fix my uh leaky ball valve underneath the crawl space and then uh turn it back on myself so it's also good to know in the case of emergency if you have a flood or something uh, frozen water lines by the time you call the company the water company to come turn it off the damage is like it could be an hour it could be like three times the amount of damage thousands and thousands of dollars in damage so as a homeowner you should know how to shut your own water off so thank you for watching jack of all trades please subscribe leave a comment and you guys 
Look for more videos to come. Have a good night.